Welcome back. So I want to just talk about the layout view and um, then we'll move on. So the idea is pretty much that when I run my application, you'll notice that not only do I have this person view that I actually created here, this is my index page. Let me just show you the page inside the code here, the index CSS HTML page. Notice there's nothing here about adding um, a, a menu bar or a footer or anything like that. No header, no nothing, no sidebars. It's just, I've just added a view. With, with some information, but how does it then get the bars in the top, the footer, how does it get the margin in the size, stuff like that. Well, that all comes from something called the layout view. Now, I have to show you the view start first, so let me just show you that in the solution over here. By the way, if you can't find a file, you can always click the small arrow back and forth here, and then you'll actually get to the file in your view. Uh, let me just um, zoom in a bit here, just to show you. So, we have this view start down here under views. It's in the root of the views, and this is kind of a, uh, it's a, a wrapper class for all your views, meaning that whatever you put in here will actually extend each view in here. Unless you add a specific view start under each folder, they will say, okay, I'm a, I'm a person view, index view. Well, I'll wrap myself as a child of this view, right? So the, the view start is kind of a, a parent for each view you have available. And what we're saying is this parent needs to use the layout from something called the layout view. Now this is again, it's default setup, so you don't have to know about it, but it's just if you if you kind of are curious why you get this all the time, the footer and the header, well, that's where it's from. So let's try and have a look at the layout view, what that is all about. The layout view, that's actually our index page, if you guys know our HTML already. So this is where we specify the main page for our application, the main thing that we need to send back. Um, so in here you have everything, in here you can go and change the title of your application to be the person application instead if you want to. Uh, this is where you would do that, person application. Also here we'll look at um, application, okay I can't spell that right now, application, there we go. In here you can also go in and specify things like uh, the navbar, so if you want more menu items, like uh, we want actually also to have a link for person, let's try and do that. So just copy a link here in the navbar, and the navbar is uh, Bootstrap's way of explaining that we have a navigation bar up here. I want to add a new one here called person, so let me just uh, go back to the code to show you that. <clears throat> so I'm just copying an already action link already there, and then I'll write persons, and then I'll write person here, like this, and it should all complete for me. Well, it didn't want to, and then I'll just write home, um, as actually this should say index, sorry, index because that is the action I want to hit and this is the actual control I want to hit. So there we go, I'll save this and I'll go and refresh my page and now I should have a new link in the top because that is actually, the layout page controls everything that your part of the page is wrapped into. So this is the index right here, but that's actually, this is actually the main page wrapping it. So you can see when I move around here, I have uh, the top here, that's an app bar, that's in the layout page. The sides here, they are defined in the layout page. The footer defined in the layout page. But then we have the center view here, and that's dynamic. That's what you defined in your view. So look, now there's also one called persons here. Sorry for the kick there. Now there's one called person here. If I click that, I go to the persons page, kick contact, I go to the contact page, etc. etc. So I just added a new link by changing things around inside my layout view. So that is where you have your navbar and your footer. Right. So let's scroll down a bit. This is the actual content area. This is what I just showed you. Let's go back to the page again, just to show you. This is the, the content area is right here. That's what you put in in the center, right? So that's the content. And we have a footer, that's default, but then you can add, add some dynamic stuff right here if you want to. Cool. So let's have a look again at the page. And here you can see I do something called render body. Because I'm wrapping everything inside the view start to say every view I have have to um, in, um, be a child of the view start. They all know that they should extend from layout view. And that means that it, they know that everything inside the view that I'm building will be rendered right at this line right here. So just for the fun of it, let me try an outcome on this line just to show you that then everything will be gone in the center. I'll comment this out. By the way, just use the small icon here, comment out if you want to do that. I'll save the application again, I'll try to refresh. Just you see that now the center of this should actually disappear because I removed the render view. I removed the customization view rendering. 
So now I only have the, the basic stuff available. Actually, it explodes because it, 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 it doesn't even allow you not to have the render method. You need to call at least one time. So that's why that one wouldn't run for me right now. Let me, let me count that back in. There we go. Uh, then let me try and do something else. Let me uh, add a few extra HRs just to show you where the different ones are. He will have one, I'll have one here as well. Now there should be a line above the rendered body and below the rendered body and then another another one just to show you. Uh, my goal here is just to show you that the, the view is actually, where the view is actually being rendered that you're building, right? So we have the default stuff that wraps the view, but everything you build should be placed right here where it says render body. That's where your code will be placed. Of course, you can change this around if you want to, but that's the default setup. Now notice there's a line here now, that was the one I just added, and there are two lines down here now because I added an extra one. So this is the stuff you can add dynamically, right? And that's anything you put inside a view here, inside your solution, like uh, the delete. Let's open that one. That will be placed in between those lines. So that's the layout view for you. And if you want to play around doing your own layout view, try to go to Tutorials Teacher and have a look at the layout view. They actually have an example of, uh, of doing the layout view for you. Um, here's the kind of the how you do the placeholder. You have the footer, the header, the left and the right menu I just showed you. But actually down here they do make a, a, a random layout view so you can make your own if you want to play around with that. I don't want to go into that right now but now you know what the layout view is all about and where the bus and the, the navigation uh, and the footer is coming from. So go and play around with that if you want to. See you in the next videos.